Hello, fellow music educators. Welcome to Elementary Music with Donna. I am Donna Rodenizer. I'm going to talk to you about a music dictation activity that I have been doing with my students as we practice high and low. Now, if you are further on in grade level and skill level, you might be actually doing so and me with those sounds high and low labeled. But when I started this activity, it was a high-low activity with my younger students. I would use this in grade one, late grade one, and in grade two and grade three. And I've created this handy dandy music dictation template. And to save you time, which nobody has any extra of, of course, this is available to you at donnanandy.com under the songs and stories tab. Look for either music dictation activity high low or Hilo Music Dictation Activity. I haven't got it posted yet, so I'm not quite sure how the title's going to run, but it'll be that combination of words, probably. And you will have a chance to download this PDF of the template, so you don't have to spend time doing all those dots and lines. I just photocopy this on a regular piece of paper for my students. Each student gets one, and they also get one of my beautiful flat marbles. I've gone to my local dollar store and got beautiful blue ones. There are many different colors, but that was the color I chose. And uh, the students love to play with the jewels. They call them the jewels. We're going to play with the jewels today. These are great as a kinesthetic learning tool for a couple of reasons. One, they look good. Two, they're fun to touch and hold and move around. Three, they actually slide really well on a piece of paper. When you're changing them around, they slide easily, but they don't roll because they're flat. I have used bingo chips in the past, but I find them clicky and they're hard to pick up. So you can put your finger on and move them around, but they're hard to pick up. And these are very easy in that respect. So flat marbles or bingo chips if you choose and the template. Now, what we do with this is I will hum or sing one of these two melodic phrases. So there, there's five different levels on this sheet. So I will say one, two, ready, here I go. Mm -hmm. Or I might go lu, 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 lu. And the students put one flat marble on each circle in the phrase that I have just sung for them. I'm going to sing number two, but am I going to sing the first one? Or am I going to sing the second one? You have to, have no don't idea. say. Don't say, but cover it up when I sing it. And I'm just going to sing it to Lou, so you can't tell if it's high or low, because there's no hints. Lou. That'll be hard. I'm just going to go Lou, Lou, okay? So which one are you going to cover up in number two? Lou, 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 Lou. Can you tell me what that is? Starting on hi, ready, sing it for me, the one you just covered up. Hi, hi, low. Very good. They're moving their finger along as they're listening and humming and trying to figure out which one it is, which is great for tracking. They are having a visual cue that in a solo singer's musical phrase, the notes follow one after the other. They don't pile on top of each other. So it's good modeling for future activities when they're not putting their marbles on top of the circles. And it's very easy to see um, at a at a glance around the whole room when the the marbles are a dark color whether they're actually matching them up or whether they're confused and so you can easily do some spot checking and helping out with the students and I also will walk around with my camera and video as the students are doing this exercise and take it home and look at it later and it's a great assessment tool I don't have to stop and grab a checklist I can just see who's very quickly putting the melody down, who's having to think about it longer, who's getting the wrong one and needs some assistance, and so it's a great assessment tool. At the bottom of this template, I've left a blank spot, so once they have been fairly successful getting this top part accomplished with little concern or mistakes or issues, then I can say now at the bottom, this number five, am I singing Lu, 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 that's there, or is it another one? And you have to just write whatever it is that I sang, and it could be anything. And so it is a chance after they've accomplished this part to see if they can, with their own uh, skills, create 
out of thin air a melodic phrase for sounds. So you are seeing a sheet where the students are picking whether we hear this sound so so be so or this one so 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 or hi hi low hi or low hi 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 um, and we just did one where I did and they had to write it without seeing the dots first and here they are they all that was mine so it's not done look at this look at this look at this everybody has Figured out what is hi, what is that we wrote hi, there? Can you sing it? Hi, hi low, low, hi. Yeah, and hi, that's what they wrote. So if I sang another one and got you to write it and did, uh, let me see. If I go, ready? I'm gonna start on a low one. Can you write this one? Ready? I'll do it again. Listen again. It starts on a low one. There you go. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. So there you have an easy and quick music dictation activity you can use with different grade levels. If they're high and low only, label them high and low and use the sheet. If they're able to label so and me, you can do that. So it's the same sheet across different grade levels. The sheet itself is easy to replace. Just photocopy it and there you go. Easy and quick and cheap, manipulative for use in your classroom. You can find that template at donnanandy.com under the songs and stories tab. Look for Mm, music dictation activity, high-low, or the other way around. I hope that you have fun using this idea with your students in your music classroom. Have a great day making music and make music a great part of your day.